Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, let's talk about Vyacheslav Glasgow versus Steve Cunningham. For me, the recommended play here is to take Cunningham to win the fight. Hedged with Glasgow by KO. Let's talk about why. First, let me say this. Um, don't go by official results. What you should do is actually spend a little time here on YouTube and look up these fights and actually, you know, see who you think won the fight. In my opinion, Malik Scott, who got a draw against Glasgow, actually beat Glasgow. Right, I thought Scott dictated the action in that fight behind a jab. Right? In my opinion, that fight showed that Glasgow would have problems with a jab and a guy who is mobile. Both are a big part of Steve Cunningham's game. Right? Let me also point out, too, that if you look at Steve Cunningham's record, you're going to notice a fight against Tomas Ademic. Right now, officially, Ademic won a split decision over Steve Cunningham. But I had Cunningham winning that fight. I thought Cunningham did more. I'll agree, Cunningham could have done even more. But understand, in that fight, Cunningham landed 80 more jabs than Ademic. Right, Cunningham landed more punches than Ademic. Now it's significant because Glasgow also faced Ademic, and I'll say this Ademic, toward the end of his career, was no longer Tomas Ademic. Right, but even in the Glasgow fight, I thought early in that fight, Ademic had a distinct hand speed advantage. In other words, as I see it, Glasgow is at a disadvantage when it comes to hand speed. He's not that great in terms of letting his hands go. He also, in my opinion, and I understand he was a decorated amateur, isn't that great on his back foot, right? So what I think is gonna happen is I think he's gonna come forward on Steve Cunningham, but he's gonna have a problem with Cunningham's better athleticism. Now, where the fight gets provocative is when we talk about Cunningham's chin. Cunningham, in my opinion, has a below average chin. Understand, he even hit the canvas in his last fight. Right? Cunningham is on a two fight streak, in fact, in which he hit the canvas. Right? Understand, too, four fights ago, Cunningham was stopped by Tyson Fury, right? I thought Cunningham, quite frankly, had the capability to beat Joan Hernandez years ago, but his chin got in the way, right? Chins work two ways. Understand, you know, you get hit on the chin and you go down, chances are you've lost that round. Right? In Cunningham's case, he has gone down and looked bad going down. In the Johan Hernandez fight, he rolls around on the canvas. You wonder why the ref didn't stop the fight then. Right? So Cunningham's, quest uh, Cunningham's questionable chin to me always makes the hedge of his opponent by knockout something you want to consider. And keep in mind here, Glasgow has 12 KOs in 31 fights, right? Glasgow's calling card is his power, right? So to me, I'm expecting Glasgow to get outboxed, to have problems with Cunningham's superior hand speed and jab, right? But I'm not sure if Cunningham can take Glasgow's punch. You add it all up, and I like Steve Cunningham in this one, hedged with Glasgow by KO. That's how I see this one. Let me hear from you. Tell us what I'm missing. Tell us the dynamic we need to look at that tilts the fight in the direction you think it's going to go. I hope you leave your comments for us here in the comment section to this video. 
Thanks for stopping by.